Hi, this is Gabriela Ortiz for the Stata YouTube channel. I'd like to show you how you can turn your interactive work in Stata into reproducible results. I've loaded the NHANES2 data into Stata and performed some analyses by simply typing into the command window. First, I created a two-way table to see how many participants are males and females and what age group they belong to. I see that there are more females than males and people in their 60s form the largest age group. Then, I modeled the incidence of high blood pressure as a function of age group and body mass index. It seems that all indicator variables for age group are statistically significant at the 1% level. But the effect of age may differ across males and females, so then I interacted age group and sex. The coefficient estimates are a bit difficult to interpret directly, so I use margins to see how the expected probability of having high blood pressure varies across males and females in each age group. For individuals in their 20s, males have a higher expected probability of having high blood pressure. As we look at each row, it seems this is true for all age groups. Then I graph these probabilities with margins plot. However, I misspelled the command name the first time. In the graph, it's easy to see that while males have a higher probability in each age group, this gap seems to narrow as we progress in age. This completes my analysis, so I'd like to save these commands in order to reproduce my work at a later time. The history window records all the commands I've issued, and I can filter out the commands that resulted in an error by clicking on this exclamation mark. Now I can right click, select all, and send all these commands to a do file. But if I only want to save some of the commands I've executed, I can hold down the control key or the command key on a Mac and click on the commands I want to save. And then I can right click and send them to the do file. In my case, I typed commands into the command window, but if you were to work interactively by pointing and clicking, the commands you issued could still be stored and put into a do file in the same way. I'll add version 16 at the top so that all these commands will be executed under version 16. This way I can reproduce my work in any future version of Stata. Now this do file is complete, so I can click on the save button to save it. We'll call this highbp.do. And to reproduce this analysis, I can simply click on the Execute button. So this is how you can turn your interactive work in Stata into reproducible results. Thanks for watching.